Hey everybody, it's Brett, your thankful carnivore. It's September 17th, the day after my 14th month as a carnivore eating meat and drinking water. It's a Tuesday morning. I hope you are doing well. Had a few days off. I had the weekend and then I had to work yesterday. I hope everyone is doing fine. I got some things I want to touch base on today. There's so much goodness going around. It, it's, it's beautiful to see. Uh, I'm seeing Instagram accounts from active people. Uh, my dear friend Lone Star Keto Girl is just blowing up like crazy. She's helping folks, putting out some great information. Her before and after pictures are outstanding. I highly recommend, if you're not following her on Instagram, please, Lone Star Keto Girl, give her, give her a follow. Outstanding Instagram page. I can't recommend it enough. I had the good fortune over the weekend to be interviewed by a, a nice lady whose name I'm going to try to pronounce. Paola, I think is how it, I'm not sure if that was right. Uh, I apologize if I did it wrong. Anyway, she has the uh, Power of Ozone channel on YouTube, and she is very much pro keto paleo and carnivore ketogenic diets. Uh, she's very anti-veganism, anti-vegan choices, etc. the ideology. And we had a wonderful discussion. And as soon as I have a link to share, I will be passing that along. Uh, I also, this coming Sunday at 11 a.m. Eastern Daylight Savings Time, yeah, we'll still be Eastern Daylight Savings Time then. I'm going to be interviewing a lady who, bless her heart, she, uh, she used to suffer from depression, anxiety, and arthritis. And she's kicked it all to the curb, eating meat and drinking water. And she's got the coolest Instagram name I've ever heard how.carnivore.save.my.ass and that's who I'm going to be interviewing on Instagram live and I'll be uploading it of course to my thankful carnivore channel on YouTube what am I getting at here folks sharing the good sharing the goodness that we have begets more goodness it just does this is lady is another person who found out through this learning about Michaela Peterson's journey. I believe that's the way she, the path that she walked. My point is she learned, heard about it. She got hope from hearing about somebody else's experience. It's always going to be about that every day. It's going to be about sharing the experience and giving hope to others. And it doesn't matter if you think you've accomplished squat, if you've changed any of your old bad habits and lost just five pounds in a month, you've accomplished something important. And you have a story to share that'll help somebody else turn their attention into a more positive direction when it comes to personal health and diet. You just got to do it, folks. So many of us, I, I can't even comprehend the number of people who, who've, I personally know, I can't count it all. Uh, there's just too many to keep up with, who, who've, heard not about me or heard about carnivory it doesn't have anything to do with me but they, they've heard the story they, they investigated and that led them to another person's story and that led them to another person's story it's just the way it was for me you know jordan peterson led me to his daughter michaela to sean baker to amber o'hearn who led me to to kelly hogan uh amy berger and, and a whole host of other people all sharing their stories, their individual experiences, how they've transformed their lives with a ketogenic diet. It, it's, it's all about, and the goodness multiplies. 
Look at how much bigger the carnivore community is this year as opposed to this time last year. There's dozens and dozens of new channels on YouTube. There's dozens and dozens of new carnivore and ketogenic related pages on Instagram, Facebook. They're just sprouting up everywhere because we're spreading the word. We're sharing the truth that we don't have to suffer. You don't have to suffer anymore. You can gain control of your health by eating meat, drinking water, by lowering your carbs substantially. You can kick metabolic disorders to the curb. Share the experience, share the goodness, and watch it multiply. I hope you have a fantastic day today, my friends. Eat your meat, drink your water, be kind to others, pet a cat if you see one. I think that's a really good idea. <laughs> yeah, that's straight out of Jordan Peterson's book, I admit it. Uh, most importantly, tell the truth, be honest, at least don't lie, and always be thankful. Have a great day. We'll see you all tomorrow.